A couple of questions, you can answer them from there if you want. Um, one of our members, uh, David Marr, had asked me, and, and I think others were probably for the viewers at home, just a kind of a quick exp a, a sentence or two on the default, the proposed budget, and the default budget number, and, and why the uh, the um, the difference in the uh, default budget. Well, if the barber can hear me. Yeah, Is thank you. Okay? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. yes. Good, yep. Good idea. So. So I did a little research, and as many of you who have been sitting here for multiple years know, whenever there have been years when we've had default budgets yep. that have passed by the voters, the town and the budget committee, management, department heads have always worked to realize that in order for a budget to pass, it, must, it needs to come in below the default. So for that to happen, things have to be cut. So some of the cuts that you will find, um, just so you can see, I'll just scan through this real quickly, but there's yellow on almost every one of these pages. Right. And those are all areas that have been cut. The majority of those lines, if you look closely at them, and you can all see this by going through your, mm -hmm. this is just your summary sheet, it's nothing, mm -hmm. That's not right. a special yep. document that right. I have. Yep, it's right um, in the book. But you can see that it's supplies and expense lines, repairs and maintenance, vehicle maintenance, overtime wages, all of those things were cut so that we could come before the voters with a budget that we can work within right but that we've listened to them we've heard this is what they want at this time and our goal is to bring to you guys for you to bring forward to however you choose right. to the voters a budget that we think can get passed and that's always our goal when we start out is to bring forward a budget that we hope will get passed and by looking at the history of default budgets and when they pass again it's always a budget except for one situation it's always been a budget that's lower than the default budget so good explanation mr mar did, you, did it answer your question or did you? well <clears throat> it made me wonder because we still have a certain amount of expenses <clears throat> and one of the thinking and not knowing where it's going is the fact that <clears throat> all those prior years they asked for a certain amount of money and the default budget <clears throat> was less than and the voters approved it. And it, my concern was you've taken things away which sounds very positive and I'm, I looked at them and I saw where they went down and all that sort of stuff. But can they be held down? That's my question. And if they can be, why didn't we take an approach like this years prior? I think in the end we probably have taken an approach like this years prior because uh -huh. On this sheet, I know it's hard for you guys to see, but I went back to 2003, and there's been more default budgets than there have been budgets that have passed yeah, sure. over that time. Yeah. So the lower number is most of the time the number that does pass with the voters. Right. So therefore, in some of those years, you may have more Warren articles. So maybe some of those items that were under the vehicle maintenance, you'll see in a Warren article and then it's giving the voters a chance to vote more specifically on what they want so i feel that in years in situations like that if there's things that pe if there's things that departments do need and they feel strongly that they need it and they have the support of management and then the board of selectmen has to go through a lot of layers and then it comes to the budget committee and everyone gets to say whether they recommend or not recommend it and those might be some of the years when you saw maybe one of those years when there was, what, 75 Warren articles, Brian? I mean, uh, you, pretty much. there's been a lot, and then some years there's only like 20. So you kind of have to go for a feel of what the voters yeah. are looking for and bring forward to them things that we hope that can get passed or prioritize. You know, um, sometimes the budget committee doesn't agree with some of the things that we've brought for, that the management has brought forward. And so then the votes change and people decide whether they, that's important to them, whether it's the new plow truck or the new, mm -hmm garbage truck or whatever is in a Warren article. Well, I looked at it and I saw a lot of things that were cut, particularly by Fred's area, and yes. I thought he did, in my opinion, an outstanding job getting done what he had done. I just wanted everybody to hear yep. what it was and how it came to be. Correct. But and I think he did a great job, period. Yes, and in the, it is in one of your appendix, I don't know if it's A or B, but one of the appendix does have a summary of exactly what a, you're talking about, Dave, yep. so if people wanted to look at that, they can see the actual breakdown of what the manager did and then what the Board of Selectmen yes. did in turn. Thank you. You all said, yeah, Mr. I was, I was just going to add to that, that um, thank you both 
for doing excellent work always. Um, bringing in a budget like this is shows that you're you listen and um, and I think it's excellent. So thank you both. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very impressive. And you know, it it's it is. It, and as I sit here, I think of all the other stuff that the selectmen and the management have to do with the Warren articles and all the other stuff we need in this town. So it's not easy. And uh, it, on the face of it right now, just hearing the first two department heads tonight with your input, I, I think we're off to a great start. I really do. I, I, I a lot, and congratulations, Mr. Welch, as, as always, in, in putting this, and in, in Christy, I don't know if we do it out yet. So thank you. I, I think that's it for tonight. We have a few things left here to do with. Uh, so we'll see you in December. We'll, yes. We will see you actually <laughs> December 10th, yes. three yes. weeks from tonight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a good with Thanksgiving. With Public Works. Thank you very much.